Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Second City. Five, six, seven, eight. Our show features customized scenes written specifically for this audience. Some favorite scenes from our nearly 50 year history. And of course, using your suggestions, we'll improvise. What caused the underperformance? Well, I attempted to bootstrap an attribution analysis to identify factorial issues in the unintended downdraft. Of course. You see, we ran a cross-section of what the standard Rosenberg factor set sure. and found multifactorial impediments to excess return regeneration. Uh -huh. But principally, an energy play subsequently presented impediments to expected outcomes. Yeah. They bought Enron stock. But... <laughs> Depressed married woman seeks affair with a man who will take her away from her loud, obnoxious husband. If interested, meet me in Grant Park. I'll be wearing a hat and a gray scarf. That's hilarious. Hurry, I'm going to the library. Bye, sweetie. Why should we trust you with our investment plan? Good. Thank uh, you. Well, Evelyn, at Ennis Canup, we're an independent firm, which is a very honest way of doing business. Huh. See, we have no conflict of interest. We do not accept kickbacks or gifts. In fact, I even sent a check to the producers of this show for the bottle of water I had in the green room. <laughs> Actually, uh, the water in the green room is free to uh, all that, 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 that. I signed my quarterly ethics policy before I came here today. I am not taking any unnecessary risks. <laughs> Simon Sin, what are you doing in my classroom? It is 9 o'clock at night. I came here to steal your purse. Oh, purse. You know what? All I do is try to teach you and you make my life a living hell. Well, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to be nice to you from now on. Well, why? Because... I saw your paycheck. <laughs> These numbers can't be right. I saw your paycheck. Is the school budget really that tight? I saw your paycheck. You almost work for free. Oh God, please, just put it down, okay? Stop looking at it. I can't stop looking at it. Is it real or some kind of crazy joke? No, it's real. I work late at school like a teacher with a lot to give. But I stay here all night. Cause I don't have a place to live Please don't look at me You'll see the hunger in my eyes I can't buy groceries I've been eating art supplies You saw my paycheck That's all I get for teaching folks I saw your paycheck I make more selling drugs I saw your that's all you get for molding mine. You saw my paycheck. What about no teacher left behind? What about no teacher left behind? What about no teacher left behind? How would you, consultant number one, make things a little less complicated? We funnel things down to the best options based on your circumstances. That practice makes things easier for the client. And in addition, if I may say, yeah. 
We don't solicit our business. Our clients choose us, which I think says a little bit about who we are. Wow. It certainly does. <laughs> Thank you. That was a really good answer. I'm sorry, ma'am. I can't accept any compliments. <laughs> now, for those of you who don't know us, we are Triple Threat. I'm Mimi. I'm Momo. And I'm Cody. And for those of you joining us for the first time, you'll find that the self-defense class is a little different. That's because we take a non-violent approach to self-defense. <laughs> Wits over hits. <laughs> we hold our expertise from our own personal experiences. Momo, thanks, Mimi. <clears throat> We believe a woman should tap into her own strengths to ward off a potential attacker. For instance... Hey, lady, come with me. Do you see you like me, boyfriend and girlfriend? Can I have your phone number? Can I have your phone number? Can I have your phone number? That was great, Momo. Because you really tapped into one of women's greatest strengths. That's right. Neediness. Wits over him. I'm sure this will come as no surprise, Mr. Escalante, but I'm afraid we're gonna have to let you go. Why? Well, I think you know why, Mr. Escalante. You're late almost every single day to work, you hardly ever show up to our weekly required staff meetings, and there's an overall concern about your maturity level. So, I just have a couple of forms I need you to fill out here. Shouldn't take too long. If you need to borrow a pen, I got one for you right here. <laughs> You just made a face at me. No. Oh, you didn't? No, no, it wasn't it too, like no, I wasn't expecting to get fired. Well, I can assure you that this is difficult for both <laughs> parties. <laughs> I suppose that one wasn't meant for you. <laughs> Mr. Escalante, I just needed to fill out these forms. Mr. Escalante! Mr. Escalante! Mr. Escalante! Mr. Escalante! Yeah. <laughs>